February 22, we gathered and we asked God to bless this mess. Today, that mess is a building of learning and healing. So a warm welcome to each and every one of you who are here today. But we, uh, we are gathered, uh, and so we begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, our great architect, engineer, and contractor, thank you for the construction workers and craft people, contractors and designers. Thank you, O oh God, for every hand, tool, and sacred work for the Darby Nursing and Health Science Center. This college, nursing school, clinic, and community will remember the work and dedication put into these walls for decades. Bless this building and the hopes and dreams we hold here. O oh God of patience and mercy, thank you. Thank you for teaching us patience with inconvenience and timing and even missing internet. As we heard the construction noise of ringing steel, beeping tractors and hammering, now may our howls and school chants accompany the education and learning in these classrooms, labs, and halls. As new sounds of ringing cell phones, beeps of IVs and monitors, and the quiet hiss of blood pressure cuffs ring out, bless all who enter. O oh God, our great physician, may this grand project remind us that we are all works in progress, and with each healing act, may it bring about healing on, camp on our campus, in our communities, and in our world. And finally, in the name of the carpenter's son, Jesus Christ, once a mess, now a building be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Good morning. This is such a glorious day, truly a day of celebration as we open this beautiful building, this beautiful facility. It's named for Gordon Darby and his wife Anne of Mount Pleasant. They were not able to join us today, but the Darby name is prominent in the Low Country, where Gordon is a leader in economic development, a heartfelt advocate of health care, and a proud Newbury College supporter. He graduated from Newbury College in 1961 and served on the Board of Trustees from 1996 through 1999. And his beautiful wife, Anne, is such a community leader down in the low country. On a personal note, Sandy and I became friends with the Darbys in 2013. He was the first donor to make a major contribution back then 10 years ago to help turn things around for Newbury College. They both believed in us and what we're doing. That partnership continues today with the Darby family. But I want to recognize another family that was very, very close to our relationship with the Darby family. And if they don't mind standing, would Carlos and Lisa Evans please stand to be recognized? So it took me about a minute to go off script already. Um, but I want to recognize a couple other people. Every program starts with a founder, starts with somebody who takes nothing and makes it into a program. And we're fortunate enough, and I'm so honored, that the founding chair of nursing at Newbury College, Betsy McDowell, is among us. If you would please stand and be recognized, Betsy. My intention is not to mention everyone who has got us to this point, but I want to recognize another family that has been with the college, supported the family far more years than many of us would, will ever know, but they were also big supporters in making this facility a reality. And that's Billy and Peggy West, if you still would please rise and be recognized. This facility will be the new home for health science, nursing, neuroscience, respiratory therapy, and nutrition, a new program that we're starting in the fall, and many more healthcare programs 
that will come in the future. We would not have a health clinic with this facility without the generous support of the Newberry County Memorial Hospital. The clinic will be managed by the hospital and will pr provide urgent care for our students and the community. And our nursing students will benefit with field experiences here at the clinic. That partnership with the hospital expands every year. And now our nursing students will have more of their clinical work done at the hospital than ever before. To the nursing faculty, it's been a long time coming. You deserve this. And most importantly, what this building is all about is those students in the audience in red. You are the future. You're what the building's all about. And thank you very much for honoring us by being students here at Newberry College. Thank you. I want to thank our general contractor, Jay Davis. If they could just raise their hands, that'd be great. Architect, architect Jumper Carter Sace, thank you very much. Job well done. We have many Board of Trustee members here. Thank you very much for joining us in this celebration. So many of you have made today a possibility. Every gift, every gift received has made today a dream come true. Thank you for believing in us. And I promise you, because of the faculty in the audience and the students that you see, we will prepare the best nursing and healthcare professionals in the state. We will make you proud, and we will stay strong as Newberry College. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the day. And just for the students who I can see so well, thank you that the fans are working so well. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to introduce the next speaker, Lene. Just thank you very much for being here. She's the chairman of our Academic Affairs and Honorary Degree Committee and representing the Board of Trustees. Lene, thank you very much. Lene Young, thank you. Good morning. As Dr. Sharon said, my name is Lene Young, and I am a uh, so I get to serve as our uh, secretary for the Board of Trustees, which is a real pleasure. And most of all, I'm a very proud graduate of Newberry College, class of 1977. And I look at the students out here today, and 50 years ago, I was a freshman here. And so many memories are flooding back, and I see y'all with those fans. So we'll get right to it and get through this, because A, you're hot, and B, you need to get back to class. And so here we go. First of all, let's uh, recognize as Dr. Sharon has talked about, what a momentous day this is for Newberry, for the college, for the community, and for the healthcare field. And all of that is possible because of the building that you see behind me. The Darby Nursing and Health Science Center, it's way more than the state-of-the-art classrooms and labs. It's way more than the space, the, the space, the much needed space to grow our health care programs. It is home to these students. These students who are here to pursue their calling, to hone their skills, and to make lifetime memories. And it's a safe place for our faculty, our students, and our community to come together for healing, as Dr. Sharon's mentioned, through our community partnership with Alex, excuse me, with the Newberry uh, County Memorial Hospital. That is just really critical. And on top of all of that, this center is a launching pad for health care here in South Carolina and beyond. As Dr. Sharon's talked about, there are so many people to thank, so many generous folks who really opened their hearts and gave of their talents to make this happen, and especially Gordon and Ann Darby, who he has mentioned and unfortunately can't be with us today. And then we look at our friends, you know, Jumper, Carter Cease, McMillan, Posden Smith, and Jay Davis Construction. Their talents, their hard work, all of them together made this dream possible and has turned this dream into a reality. Please join me in another round of applause for all of them. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. And I'd like to close by thanking each one of you, every single one of you here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the history that we're making today. And thank you for being a part of the celebration. The celebration of, is a celebration of the differences that we've made and the differences yet to make. Thank you, and I am just so excited and honored to be here. Thank you all, thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jerry Yellowine. Uh, Jerry and I go back uh, from several career spots a long time ago, so it is really my pleasure to introduce to you our Dean of Nursing and Health Sciences. As one who does not want to expose too much sweating, I will make this brief. <laughs> I was reminded by Rob Vanderweel, the superintendent for J. Davis, it had been a year since the cinder blocks for the building were delivered. It was during student move-in last year that we began this process. During move-in this year, we were completing the last minute details. This has been an incredible journey. This journey would not have been possible had it not been for all the work that has taken place. The students that will walk these halls will do great things and inspire through small things as well. The late Queen Elizabeth II said, it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps that bring about the most lasting change. In this building, we will prepare health care providers who have found their vocation, whose calling and life will be to serve. Being a health care professional is a true privilege. Teaching another generation is a sacred trust to which we have all established ourselves to be well prepared to answer. The future of health care is a dynamic world. The completion of this building demonstrates in tangible form the mission of the college to be a supportive academic community for lifelong intellectual and personal development with meaningful vocation and engaged citizenship in the global society. To the leadership of the college, Dr. Sharons, members of the Board of Trustees, we thank you. I thank you as Dean of Nursing and Health Science. I thank you on behalf of the faculty and staff of the division. And I thank you on behalf of the students. As we started the new semester, I saw the excitement and surprise of the new building, of the faces of our students. They were truly impressed with the progress and completion since they left in May for summer break. The enlarged labs, new simulation labs, and classroom for each cohort of the program will make this building a true magnet for education. When you walk through the halls of the building, please pay special attention to the donor names along the way. These folks are our heroes. <laughs> they saw the dream of nursing and health science center and committed themselves to making this day happen. Your generosity will be felt by generations of healthcare professionals. We in healthcare often answer the call as in Isaiah 6, whom shall I send? Here I am, send me. Despite having endured the COVID pandemic when healthcare providers were stretched beyond comprehension, they stayed committed to the promise of here I am, send me. It is with great pleasure that I have had the opportunity to serve as Dean during the last few months of this construction. But I will tell you, I could not have done it without these folks. Our administrative assistant, Mandy Counts, Tracy Cook, Director of Health Sciences, Dr. Emily Livingston, Ms. Edwina Hallman, uh, Ms. Donna Eltenheimer, and the lady I, I lean on an awful lot, Dr. Jenny Lindler. Now that having been said, my next speaker is someone that I have been friends with for 30 years. I've been blessed to call her friend for all those years. 
and now we work together in this endeavor here at this college. The Chief Nursing Officer for Newberry County Memorial Hospital, Ms. Meg Davis. What a beautiful day. Thank you so much for allowing Newberry Hospital the opportunity to be with you all today to share in the opening of the Darby Nursing and Health Science Center. With me today are John Snow, it's John Snow, I'm sorry, the Chief Executive Officer of Newberry Hospital, and Casey Purcell, the nurse practitioner who will be joining us at our clinic when we open in September. Casey is also a graduate, graduate of the Newberry College Nursing. Also here are members of the Board of Trustees of Newberry Hospital. What is most important is the celebration of all that this wonderful about your college and all of the opportunities that you do and will provide to your students in our community. This institution is part of something even greater. It is part of the community of higher education, athletics, healthcare, industry, and local leaders. Newberry Hospital is here to celebrate your beautiful new building, but particularly the amazing opportunities that this building holds for our students. Our hope is that many wonderful healthcare providers will advance and mature in these four walls and grow to serve. I am grateful for the opportunity to speak to you today. Thank you for letting Newberry Hospital be part of something extraordinary here at Newberry College. This collaboration is an encouraging endeavor as we work together for the future of our community. My next speaker that I'm introducing is Mr. Allie Linder. He's the General Contact Contracting Division Manager at J. Davis Construction. Good morning. Um, on, on behalf of J. Davis Construction and our project team, Ben Quackenbush and Rob Vanderwill, thank you for allowing me to speak here today. After serving Newberry College for the last several years, it was an honor for J. Davis Construction to be entrusted with the creation of Newberry College's new Darby Nursing and Health Science Center building. It is with great pride that we can take a moment to mark the culmination of a partnership built on shared values, vision, and a commitment to education and community service. This nursing and health science center containing more than 11,000 square feet of classrooms, lab spaces, lounges, and conference rooms stands as a testament to the forward-thinking administration of Newberry College, a leadership that recognizes the vital role that education plays in shaping the future. With this new facility, the college demonstrates its commitment to providing cutting edge learning environments that foster innovation, critical thinking, and the highest quality of care. At J. Davis Construction, we believe in a mission to have a positive impact on everyone involved, and we build all manner of buildings for various needs, but it can only serve its purpose by impacting the lives within its walls. This building will become a hub of knowledge and a center for excellence where aspiring nurses will be nurtured, empowered to become compassionate caregivers, advocates for health and pillars of strength for those under their care. The ripple effect of the education received here will extend far beyond these walls, touching the lives of patients, families, and entire communities. As we look to the future, let us remember that this nursing building is not just a physical structure, it's a promise fulfilled, a dream realized, and a legacy in the making. We express our sincere gratitude to Dr. Sharon's Newberry College, the Board of Trustees and all of the faculty and staff allowing J. Davis Construction to be a partner on this journey. Thank you and I'll introduce uh, Foster Sin, the Mayor of Newberry. Well good morning welcome to Newberry. We celebrate what I believe will be one of the most important buildings in the city of Newberry. We are proud to be the home of the beautiful Darby Nursing and Health Science Center which right here at College in Evans will send out talented and caring graduates around South Carolina, around the country, and around the world. We're excited and thankful for the new urgent care facility and the partnership between the college and our outstanding Newberry County Memorial Hospital. We thank Newberry College, NCMMH, Ms. Davis, Mr. Snow, and all involved. Dr. Sharons, the city of Newberry, the citizens are proud of all the success Newberry College is having. 
And this new building helps encapsulate the Newberry College experience in just two city blocks. First, this building, teaching outstanding academics and caring for humanity. Next, residence halls like Smeltzer and, and fun days at the college. Beautiful Wiles Chapel and the importance of faith in our lives. Then sets or feel and sounds of Newberry born and Newberry bred, bringing the college community together. I can see why Newberry College is being so successful. The city of Newberry congratulates all of Newberry College on this important day and celebrates the great impact the Darby Nursing and Health Center will have. Thank you.